In this video, we're going to be testing all of these headphones. First of all, we have the Sony 1000 XM4. Next, we have the Bose NC700. Next, we have the Yamaha YH E700A. Next, we have the Bose and Wilkins PX7. We also have the Beat Studio 3. And our final headphone is the Sennheiser Momentum Wireless, and this is the 2.0 version, which has recently been replaced by the 3.0 version. So what makes all of these headphones comparable? Well, all of them are around the same price range. All of them are active noise cancellation headphones. So that's why I'm going to be doing this test. Let's start now. So once again, here are all the headphones lined up in a row. And on the other side of the table, we have the cases. So this is the case for the 1000 XM4. This is the one for the Bose here. That's the one for the Yamaha, Bose and Wilkins. That's the Beats. And this little thing here, this is for something else. So let's get rid of that. This is for the Sennheiser's across the table. That's for the Momentum Wireless. Right, now we're gonna be looking at all these headphones inside their cases. Let's start with the Sennheiser. So this is the case. Okay, obviously you can close it. Here it is opened and the headphones, they fit in like that. They even have little foam plugs that go into the headphone cups like so. And that's how it works. And then we also have a little bag that these go in and they go in that so these get very well protected i like this case we'll go on to the beats case this is the decade edition so it says 10 years there yeah and yeah here it is very basic hard shell and yeah they just fit in like that that's how they fold just like this nothing fancy schmancy about that uh, then we go on to the bow and bows and wilkins this takes a different approach to the rest. This is kind of like a, it's like a fabric sort of, just like a classy look. There we go, this is how they go in the case. Little pouch there. And yeah, that's just how they go in the case. This is the Yamaha, which is a very nice uh, case. Very nice to the touch. And looks like it offers solid protection. Here's the Yamahas in here, again, these are actually foldable, so this, these fold inwards like that. A little bit for, you know, wires and stuff here. A little pouch over there as well to store some other stuff. Here is the Bose. Similar to the Yamaha in design, but the Yamaha feels better. Better quality than that, anyway. This is pretty simple. Headphones don't really fold, they just fold like in like that as you can see they just slot in there and then I think you have like a little pouch here yeah that's quite neat I like that I think that's even magnetic yeah that's magnetic that's cool this is the Sony 1000 XM4 this is kind of like the tightest packed uh, case out of all of them they fold in here very similar to how the Yamaha's fold but much more compact i would say here's where your wires go and yeah we have something on the back here for extras so that's all the cases which one do you like the best leave it in the comments now we're going to be testing comfort so these are the sony 1000 xm4s let's start with these i feel very trapped in with these headphones but it's very light they do wiggle on your head. They're wiggling a lot. Yeah, so that's that. Next one is the Bowers and Wilkins. Right and left inside there, it's marked, which is nice, unlike the Sonys. These are more com these are more comfortable to me than the Sonys. They're a little bit heavier, but I don't feel like so trapped in. These uh, cups. They're kind of, my ears fit in really nicely in there, which is nice. Next is the Sennheisers. Right and left is on the metal band. It's not on, it's not inside. It's not inside here. 
these are wiggling around a bit but they're very light my ears don't go quite inside they're kind of touching the outside did i do the wiggle test with the Bowers and wilkins let me do that quickly these are wiggling quite a lot Bose, right and left oh these are lovely my ear goes all the way inside it's very nice and it's very light on the head. I think they've put a lot of effort into this one. Still wiggling a bit, but not too badly. So nice, this is a nice fit, this one. Here's the Beats, Decade Edition. Obviously right and left now is not on the inside, it's here. Let's put these on. Oh God. Oh my God. These don't really go all the, these, these don't go around my ear at all. These are more like semi on ears. They're okay, they're okay. This is a bit hard, this band here. They're all right, not that bad. And yeah, finally the Yamahas. Right, left. Okay, let's see this. These are wiggling a lot. These are wiggling a lot, probably more than all of them. But comfortable. Yeah, not the lightest. These, these, are, these are okay. They feel, the Yamahas feel very nice. That's the difference. I forgot to do the wiggle test with the beats. They're all good. I think overall it really depends on you. If it were me, um, the ones I like are the ones I like are the Bose. Quite like the Yamahas because it's just the feel that you get when you put them on, and the Bowers and Wilkins. They're the ones I like. The Sony's are also nice, but they're like you feel trapped a little bit. It's like they really seal. So yeah, that's that. Now let's move on to the sound quality test. For this test, we're gonna use Tidal Hi-Fi on my phone. I'm gonna stream it via Bluetooth. That just means we're gonna have the best quality possible when we're listening to music. Let's start. At the moment, they sound a little bit trebly. Not too much bass though, which is fine. Now I'm gonna test them against the Sony 1000 XM4s. So here we are. These ones have a little bit more bass and they have less treble than the Bose. But at the same time, the cymbals, they're very sibilant, more so than the Bose. With these ones, it's more diff a little bit more difficult to hear George Michael's voice. Let's move on to the Sennheisers. These sound a lot more forward. I'm a lot more aware of the saxophone right now. The soundstage seems to be a little bit more in actually with these. Now George Michael's voice is more forward. I can hear what he's saying. Less bass with these as well. More appropriate for the music. Okay, let's now move on to the Beat Studio 3. These really aren't as bad as people think. These could just do with maybe a tad more detail, just a teeny bit more detail. But in terms of balance, I think these so far are probably the best along with the Sennheiser. They're probably the best in terms of balance. There's nothing that sounds too big or too small. Uh, the trebles are nice. My ears can cope with the treble as well. You know what beats aren't what they used to be. They're not over bass so much anymore. Next, we're gonna use the Yamaha E700. These are a bit more bassy. These so far sound the cleanest out of all of the other headphones. 
they seem to have a little bit more detail than all of them and yeah they just sound cleaner a bit more transparent the base is a bit elevated yeah these are actually okay in the in this song finally we're going to do a test with the Bowers and Wilkins PX7s yeah these ones are okay. these ones are good but the bass the drum is a little bit too strong um, and there's a bit of sibilance in the cymbals that I'm hearing nothing really much more to shout about compared to the rest of them so which do I think were the best in that song well I would say it could be the Yamahas it could also be the Sennheisers. The beats were surprisingly good, but they weren't the best, but they were surprisingly good. For soundstage, I also think the Bose was a good contender as well for soundstage and the Yamaha. So that's what I that's what I think about that song. The next song is Song 2. It happens to be called Song 2. This is our rock test. And it's song two by Blur. Nah. These headphones are going for it too much on this rock music to the point where it's just too much for my ears and I can't really hear the vocals. So which headphone won this test with rock? I'd say the Bose were pretty good actually. There was something missing in that mid range. Um, these were solid, these were solid. Um, these were also good, but this is just like a couple issues. I think actually I would pick the Sennheisers and these both for that because everything else sounded too much. The next thing we're going to test is hip hop music. We're now going to listen to The Watcher by Dr. Dre. Oof. Bass is cleaner. Oh, this is more like it. This is like perfect, perfect balance. These are best so far. Bowers and Wilkins. The male voice is coming out a lot on these. The bass is a bit too strong. It's a bit less than these, a bit less than the Sony's, but more than the Sennheisers and much more than the Bose. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of these PX7s. Now let's try the Beats. See, less bass, less bass now. Sounds more inside your head, sounds less tiring. These beats are being trashed a little bit too much, I think, on the internet. They're all right, they're okay. They just lack a bit of the sound stage and a teeny bit of detail, but that's, that's it. But I think people are a bit too harsh on them. Finally, the Yamaha. Whoa, my God! Whoa, my Lord, shite! Whoo! Bloody hell. These are like subwoofers on this song. F me. I'm frightened now. They're so bassy. What is going on? Yeah, so these Yamahas on this particular song, with this sub bass frequency that's on this song, these Yamahas are like damn subwoofers. These are the most bassy headphones for that song out of all of these, even the Sony's. If you really like bass, these have got the most bass. They're crazy. I can't listen to that. That's way too much bass. Way too much bass. What on earth is that? That actually scared the shit out of me, like seriously. Okay, which one would I prefer for the hip hop track? Well, again, I'm going to the Sennheisers. I think overall they were the best. And secondly, I think the Bose. I think that they were the second best. These Yamahas were the worst for that track. You know, that was just too, way, 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 way too much bass. After that, I think maybe it's a tie between, you know, it could be the beats, but they're less, less detail, but more pleasant. But then between these two, the Bose and Wilkins or the Sony, 
I think I might go for the Sony on the on this track. The Sony was a tad better than the Bose and Wilkins, I think. And they're quite similar. In this part of the review, we're going to be testing the cool quality of all of these headphones. Let's do it now. We're going to start with the Sony's and we're going to compare it directly to the Beats. Hello? Can you hear me? How's the quality? A bit laggy. You say there's a buzziness, it's not very clear at all. Okay, I'm now going to swap it. I'm going to go to the next pair of headphones. Okay, I've swapped headphones now. Voice sounds clearer, but sound further away and quieter. Okay, well you sound worse through these headphones from my perspective. The other headphones were better, they were clearer. But you're saying, from your perspective, I sound better with these. The, the voice is clearer, less fuzzy, but a bit further away, yeah? But you would prefer to use the other one because the other one just get the other one is louder so it's less lower quality but louder but this one you have to concentrate a bit more all right okay so this one loses not because of the quality but because of the volume yeah okay we're gonna swap now we have to say the sony wins because at the end of the day if you can't hear then what's the point in that so get rid of the beats now now we're going to be testing these Sony's against the b and I'm back through the headphones. Here's headphone number one. Yeah, okay, I'm going to compare it to my next set of headphones. One sec. Here's headphone number two. Testing, testing, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the next set of headphones. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the first set of headphones. First set of headphones are better, yeah? Right, so number one is better. Why? Is it louder? Is, is number one louder? Louder and a bit clearer. Okay, from my perspective, headphone number two had the worst audio quality. Your voice sounded worse these headphones sound better so i think overall these are better for phone calls than these ones here so we're going to move on now to these headphones versus these headphones this is the next set of headphones so much better my voice is a bit quieter testing testing one two three you said it, my voice is a bit quieter but it sounds more like me so the quality is much better you would you prefer to talk to me like this yeah, for sure. Okay, and from my perspective, these headphones sound better than these ones. The call quality is better, it's more silent, there's less hiss or whatever it is. We're going to go back to these ones now and test them against these. Yeah, I'm on uh, headphone number one now. I'm going to just, con I'm just going to put it onto the other one. Here is headphone number two. This one is a million times better by far, you say. Louder? Quieter? A bit quieter, but much clearer. More enjoyable to listen to. From my perspective... Oh God, what was that? From my perspective... <laughs> from my perspective, you sound a lot better as well. Okay, so we've got... We've got, we've got two champion. Two champion headphones right now. We'll put them head to head later. So we're, we're going to go back to headphone number one, headphone number one again, and now we're going to test it against these headphones. Okay, these are headphones number two. Testing, testing, one, two, three, headphone number two. This is better than number one, tell me why. Why is this better? Both of them have the hissing, yeah, but why, you said this one was better than the other one. The volume is okay, it's a bit loud, louder, which is good, but the quality of this is a little bit better than these ones, but still got the background noise going on, yeah? From my perspective, you sound quite similar. 
compared to the other ones. In fact, I think you sound a bit more distant with these ones. Okay, right, so um, loud doesn't mean good, that's correct. So now what we're gonna do, <laughs> so what we're gonna, okay, so this is our new reference pair. Yeah, if you guys can see that, yeah. Right, this is our new reference pair. We're gonna call this headphone number one now, yeah? Okay, so here's headphone number one. I'm gonna to go to headphone number two. Headphone number two, I'm on headphone number two now. Go on, what is it? Which, which one's better? Okay, I'm gonna go back to number one. Headphone number one again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, so voice sounded sexy through number one. So what did I sound through is number two then? Not sexy. Number two sounded louder, but quality was there. But I lost the sexiness in number two. You would listen to both. If you had to say which one's number one, which, which one is the first? So they're both similar level, but number two was louder and clearer. 100% number one is better. Oh, it's a lot clearer. Okay, so... It can't be that much clearer because this one was better than the other ones. Okay, number one, my voice sounds nice. There you go. It sounds more like me, yeah? Not as clear. Okay, from my perspective, from my perspective, you sound much better through these ones compared to the other ones. You're louder, there's less noise going on. Anyway, we, let's move on to the next ones now. Really close to the microphone. All right then, so... So we have, the, we, have, we have the winner then. The winner of the, the, the winner of the microphone test is this one here, the Bose uh, NC700. And the runner up was the Sennheiser, but this is the Momentum Wireless 2. The Wireless 3 is now out, which may be even better. But from my perspective, being the recipient of the audio, uh, we're both recipient, uh, whatever the other side of the conversation where I'm hearing the, the audio from my perspective, these were better. The Momentum 2, Wireless 2 was better and the Bose was runner up, very close. And then I would say the next best one were, were these Yamahas. From my perspective, these weren't that great, but from the other side of the conversation, so the microphone on this was better than the rest. So we compared it against the Sony 1000XM4, the Beat Studio 3, and the Bose and Wilkins PX7. So surprise, surprise, the two, one, two of the premium headphones on this list, especially these ones, the Bose and Wilkins, we're a little bit com confused there. The audio quality from my perspective sounded worse, the microphone quality sounded worse, and the Sony 1000XM4, again, a premium set of headphones that a lot of people talk, you know, really, you know, they talk very highly of. From my perspective, it wasn't that, it wasn't all that. And it, I would say it was either fourth or fifth in this test of one, two, three, four, five, six headphones. So there you go. If core quality is important to you, then the two headphones you should consider are the ones on my head now, which is the Bose NC700 or the Sennheiser Wireless Momentum range. That's what I would recommend. For this part of the test, you might be wondering why is the camera all the way up there? Well, in front of me right now, I have my two speakers, my hi-fi speakers, and my amplifier, and I'm gonna be playing an aeroplane uh, cabin noise because I'm gonna be testing the noise cancelling of all of these headphones, and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is the best. So let's start now. We're going to start with the Sony 1000 XM4s. Okay, first impressions of the 1000 XM4s. They're very, very, very good. Simple as that. All the bass from the aeroplane noise is pretty much gone and you've only got the slight wind noise that's left. And these speakers, they're very high output speakers, guys. They're not, not kidding around here. I must be at least 75, probably 80 decibels at the moment, which is roughly what you would expect from an airplane cabin. And this is doing a very, very good job, I can tell already. So now I'm gonna move on to the, what's in front of me. These are the Bose noise cancelling headphones. Let's see how good they are.
Okay, definitely better. The Sony's are better. These are perfectly, I would say, perfectly listenable with this airplane noise in front of me. But there's still more of the noise there, like you can hear you're in an airplane, whereas this kind of almost sounds like you're not in an airplane. It's almost like yeah it's almost like you just hear wind it's it's not it's not like you can immediately tell it's an airplane it's that good at noise cancelling so next one we're going to go on to is the sennheisers okay the sennheisers are currently in third place these are not as good as the bose definitely you can tell the noise cancelling is on but they're not as good as the bose and they're far behind the Sony's. So that's that. Let's now go to the Beat Studio 3. Okay, as it happens, the Beats are currently in last place. The Sennheiser is definitely better than the Beats. The Bose is definitely better than the Sennheisers and the Sony is definitely better than all of them. Now we're gonna try the Bowers and Wilkins. Okay, the Bowers and Wilkins are worse than the Sennheiser, but are they worse or are they better than the Beats? Okay, that's an easy one. The Bowers and Wilkins are better than the Beats, but they're worse than the Sennheiser, which are worse than the Bose, which is worse than the Sony. It's getting funny. Right, so finally the Yamaha, the Yamaha headphones, let's see how well they do. Okay, the Yamaha is worse than the Sennheiser. So is it better than the Bose and Wilkins and the Beats? I'll try again. Okay, they're better than the Beats. Let's see if they're better than the Bowers and Wilkins. Okay, I think, I think I've ranked them all now. So here's the final score. Sony is the best by a clear margin, I think. Sorry guys, you're still up there, but you know, let's finish the video like this, why not? Sony is winner by a clear margin. The Bose is second. It's definitely worse than the Sony, but it's not bad, so it's not worse. It's just second best. But the Sony has something else, definitely. The Bose is second. Then we have the Sennheiser, which is closer to the Bose than the Bose is to the Sony, if you get what I mean. So that's second, that's third, if I want to do it like this. And then the Sony's are up there. And then Bose and then Sennheiser, like that. And then we have the Bowers and Wilkins was the next one. That's in fourth place. These are down here. And then the Yamaha, I'm quite shocked actually about this. This one was... A little bit worse than the Bose and Wilkins. A little bit, but it was definitely noticeable. And then the worst of the bunch for noise cancelling in an airplane, at least, it was the Beats Studio. A lot of the time I had to kind of think, is, is the noise cancelling on? It does make a difference, but you have to turn it off and turn it back on to realise, yeah, it was on. But the difference is so much compared to the others that you do question, is it on? Which it is. So there you have it, guys. What do you think? Leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video.